Hi everybody, Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to look at pelvic glide, the lateral glide. A little bit different than McKenzie glide. We talk about, talk about the shoulders moving in a true lateral shift. This is just to test the ability of the pelvis as a general structure to go laterally. And we see this with our patients who are post-op, let's say total knee replacement, total hip, and they haven't really been able to weight shift through that pelvis and they lose that. And we, we work on their knee or their hip and we kind of forget that the pelvic still has to move. Uh, first of all, this technique from Jerry Hesch. Dr. Jerry Hesch is kind of an interesting guy, has a Hesch method, and I've kind of used it over the years. And if you know other groups like postural restoration, it all goes into the same concept, the ability of the pelvis to side glide. So the way I teach it and the way I do it is you look at the patient sliding down. Thank you, Donis. Look at their pelvis and you have the iliac crest up top the trochanter down here, and then I kind of play volleyball. So I'll take my hands like this, I'll take the pelvis, and I'm gonna glide it from this direction to that, dire that, that direction. So we're not gonna do McKenzie like we're gonna call a pelvis gliding to the right. So I wanna do is I take up the slack of that motion, and then from that I give a little bit of a spring. Does it have a good spring going? And then the key is if I'm gonna test the other direction, you're best to go on the same side you're testing. For the view of the camera, I'm gonna kind of cheat a little bit. The problem with reaching across is that we tend to do more rotation. But if I was standing there and I came into this direction and I pull, take, I pick up the slack and go across. So we're gonna kind of make it up because Dominus is pretty good and we're gonna have him block it so he, right? So the theory would be if I try to take up the slack and I do it and I can't, I try to push more, I can't do it. That'll be a positive test or inability to glide pelvis to the right. The treatment is simple, and this is important again for somebody when they're standing. What we're going to do is have Donis go onto his left side. We're going to take two pillows and we're going to put it underneath his pelvis. Okay, and the key is make sure they're come down just a little bit towards your feet, Donis, a little bit. Now, the key for this is to make sure they feel balanced and they, we don't lose Donis. And you can see the lateral glide, the hip has to be either neutral or towards extension. The pelvis is pushed up towards the ceiling. And it's simple, right? He's in this, you're comfortable like this, Donis. Let him hang out like this. They might feel a bit of a pull. These things should not be painful. And the key part to this is put a timer on in two or three minutes. Let it creep, let time, let the tissue relax, the mechanoreceptors accommodate to the new position. So pretend we went through three minutes later. And uh, let's say he's done. So we're going to take this out. And here we'll make him try to make him comfortable. Legs out straight. And then we would come back and we would do our lateral glide. And the great thing about this is it makes a big difference. And of course, you would have him stand up and you see when he's walking, hmm, you're getting a better weight shift, which is perfect for this condition. All right, so I recommend you do this. There's homework for this. It doesn't have to do much. It's two or three minutes, and probably for a week, do it a couple of times that week. Retest when they come back in the clinic. And you can tell them, they can self-test back and forth. They find themselves losing that mobility. It's a simple technique. Rob Shapiro from Technique.